Let's make this lo-fi string machine sound inspired by J. Cole's Power Trip. You can download this preset along with 149 others in my preset pack called Sounds You Know. A link for that's in the description. So to get started, initialize preset. Let's change the number of voices to five and the percentage of detune to 10. Open up oscillator two. Let's raise this one octave or 12 semitones and 10 cents. Let's change the number of voices to five here as well and the percentage of detune to 10 again. I'm going to lower the volume to demo this. So we basically made a super saw. To get to our final sound, we're going to use three analog filters, starting with a 24 dB low pass filter. Let's set the resonance to 4.76. Turn key tracking up all the way to 100% and drag the cutoff all the way to the left. Swing macro 1 over to the cutoff and change macro 1 to 0 0.735. Now we can label this macro as low pass cutoff. Make sure to route in oscillator 2 and let's hear this. So we cut out a lot of the high end. Let's cut out some of the low end as well. Drag the blend over on filter 2 all the way to the right to make this a high pass filter. And for this one, let's drag the resonance all the way down. Drag the cutoff all the way down. We're going to control that with macro 2. So drag macro 2 over to the cutoff. Right click macro 2 and put in 0 0.4. Let's label this high pass cutoff. Make sure to only route in filter 1 for this one. Let's add one more filter in the effects section. This is going to be another 24 dB analog filter. Lower the resonance all the way down. And let's set the cutoff to 51.5. So we're getting quite a bit of grit from the analog distortion from these three filters and we can add a little bit more with this drive feature. So let's map that to the mod wheel. Now let's add some vibrato, so go back to voice. Let's use LFO1 for this. So hold shift and drag LFO1 over to the fine pitch of both oscillators. Then right click those modulation amounts and set them to zero. We're going to control the modulation amount with macro 3. So drag macro 3 over to those modulation amounts. Right click these modulation amounts and set them to 0 0.6. So this is our maximum amount of vibrato. Then let's set macro 3 to 0 0.5. And let's edit the name of this to be vibrato depth. And let's hear this. So you can hear and you can see that the vibrato is really slow. So let's edit the vibrato frequency with macro 4. I'm going to change the units from tempo to seconds. And then I'm going to set the maximum frequency to 0 0.75. Then drag over macro 4 to the frequency. And let's lower this to 0 0.2. Then I'm going to set macro 4 to 0 0.25. Let's hear that. It's still pretty slow, but it's a lot better. So let's rename this one Vibrato Speed. Now one little trick I like to do, especially for wide vibratos or slow vibratos, or any vibrato really, is to set the phase of it of the low frequency oscillator to 0 0.25 because if this is bipolar this is the center of our pitch and so this is where we want to start when we hit each note anyways that's it 
I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.